Good morning, everyone. Um, the horses decided that they were going to munch down their whole field already. So we're getting ready to mow the grass for the first time this year. Decided, well, before we mow grass, we'll let them start mowing. And so this is what I did. I have a blue lunge line, which is the one on this side. And then I have a lead rope, which is actually another blue lead rope. But it's right here. And they usually stay together. And I was, in case they decided to run off and be bud heads, I tied them together. Just tied a simple square knot, which I don't know if, there you go, now you can see it. Um, tied them together, so if one runs off, the other one's going with it, and they can't get apart, so they'll be easier to catch. And Teddy has the lunge line on him, and I have the stud chain over his nose. Teddy actually, now I'm in the shadow. Teddy was a stud until he was seven. He's 13 now. He still thinks he is a stud sometimes. So it is kind of hard to lead. And then obviously this one over here is about 20 times my size. So she's a handful. She's usually pretty, pretty respectful of what you tell her. Um, she was used for pulling carriages at a camp, like a summer camp for kids. And she really... Hold on, Teddy got his leg over this thing. Come here, Teddy. Sorry about that. Teddy had his leg over the thing. I'm trying to keep him out of it. But she was used for pulling carriages at like a summer camp for kids. So she's really pretty obedient off what you tell her. You don't really have to do too much. But she'll get in her mode sometimes where she does what she wants to do. That's when it gets a little bit to be a handful for me, because she's so big and strong. But, it'll work. And then, as you can see, there's a shed back there. That's actually what we're going to make their shed for them to walk in and out of for the pasture. I don't know if you can really see it, but you can see where the grass is eaten and where it's not eaten. Pretty definite line up there. So, we're going to just try to give them some out here time in the front yard which I'll show you the view from the front yard it's gorgeous up here but I don't even think it's focused I'm not sure but um, I'm not sure if any of you know anywhere around Pennsylvania but Seven Springs Ski Resort is right over the hill up there so we're pretty close to quite a few things and then over there those are the um, old beasts that are getting us around for now. The one on the left is in, hmm, that's a good question. I think it's a 94 F-150. And then the one on the right is a 85 F-350 dually. And then my little car is hiding back there, my little Mini Cooper. But we're actually going to look for horse trailers, hopefully this weekend. Um, I found one towards Ohio. It's a gooseneck. It's actually almost a brand new trailer, and uh, ladies get divorced, and I'm like, oh, well, that looks like a good trailer. It's almost brand new, and my leash is getting, needs pulled. He eats faster than she does, so I have to watch this little leash and where I'm going with it. But it's a gooseneck. Um, my boyfriend, Skylar, he only wants to get a gooseneck because the truck has a fifth wheel. So it's kind of convenient, and I don't know why, but he doesn't like bumper pulls. So we're going to get a gooseneck. Hopefully we'll have one by this weekend, maybe next weekend. And then as soon as we get one, we're going to take Leia down actually to my neighbor's house, by my parents' house. And they have a Belgian draft farm, actually. That's all they deal with is Belgians. Um, they train them for pulling and they actually are very well known in the area and across a couple of the states um, around here, the local states, and they do pulling. Um, I honestly don't know what it is. It's just like they pull a sled with cinder, blo cinder blocks on it, And uh, but he has a stud down there, and the stud is absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to try to breed her. Um, She's 18 years old, which I know I'm sure a lot of people are going to be like, well, that's way too old to be breeding. But we got her all checked out, and she's all good, and 
the vet actually thought that she was closer to a 12 year old when they were checking her out because her papers say she's 18 and all the markings are hand drawn on there and they all fit her but she has really good teeth and she's really healthy she's always been very well taken care of um, including from the place we got her from she's originally from Bedford PA uh, she was at the camp her whole life and I mean Teddy Teddy keeps pulling on this leash so um, she was at the camp her whole life she was super well taken care of uh, she didn't really have to do too much she just kind of got 